Hi everybody, Larry Graves here. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, probably not too long, because I only have four movies to uh, show you and talk about a little bit. Now, HMV Canada is sadly closing very soon, actually, and so they're having lo a lot of sales. And uh, right now I think the DVDs and Blu-rays are like 30% off. And so they have these uh, two for 25 Blu-ray deals, plus on top of that, 30% off of it. So each of these Blu-rays cost me about $7 each, seven, $8 with tax. And I haven't opened them yet, so as part of this video, I'll open them. There's probably nothing inside them except the disc, hopefully, but you never know. And so the first one I'll open is Carrie. And then I'll talk about it. Uh, I am not a fan of horror movies. And the reason being, it's not because they're scary, it's because they're not scary. Uh, but I will say, there, there's a handful of thrillers or, or horror movies that I really do like. I consider, for instance, Deliverance kind of a, a horror movie in a way, or at least a thriller. Uh, the original Halloween movie, and The Exorcist, of course. Now that was scary, although I, I was too young to see it in the theater. And there's uh, like two or three more. There's one. Uh, it's kind of a comedy horror movie, if I can remember. Fright Night, the original Fright Night. I would love to see that again. And The Stepfather, the original Stepfather. So, I've taken the plastic off, and the one thing I hate about uh, ordering from, especially Amazon, with CDs, but it's the same thing with these, is these uh, stickers on top. But I'm just going to force it open here. So for, for Carrie, I, uh, I really haven't watched the whole movie, I don't think, ever. I've seen parts of it, but I certainly have seen the ending, which uh, is, I think, one of the scariest, especially if you saw it in the theater, that would be such a shock, luckily, <laughs> or unluckily, I never did see it in the theater. But uh, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing it at some some point. Now the sticker is off. And this is actually not a Blu-ray, it's a DVD, this one. But it was the same uh, 2 for 25. There's the cover. And the back. And... I don't think it comes with any special features, but it says here up at the top, 1970s, so when I open it up, the first disc is I think it's a, I think it's a CD from the 70s. Decades Collection, Billy Don't Be a Hero, Maggie May, The Night Chicago Died, ABC, Ain't No Mountain High Enough, Let's Get It On, War, and Reunited. So it's like a bonus. As the movie falls out and breaks, and there's the movie on DVD. And it does come with uh, 
It actually comes with a little booklet. Wow. It's got this too. Let me see here. The movies I've seen. Fiddler on the Roof I've never seen. Mad Max I have no interest in. Uh, when Harry Met Sally I've never seen. Although I know that famous, the one famous scene. The Sure Thing I've never seen. Moonstruck I saw, which was good from what I remember. Uh, Twelve Angry Men I've never seen. Guys and Dolls I've never seen. Some Like It Hot I've never seen. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang I've never seen. The Graduate I've never seen. And West Side Story I've never seen. West Side Story I've never seen. See, my ASMR channel is very relaxing because it puts Jinx to sleep. So it comes with this little life booklet. I guess this will be a long uh, video. Hmm. So that's care. And I would love, I'm looking forward to the comments below after you've seen all four movies and let me know what you think of each of the movies if you have seen them. Next up is Arnold Schwarzenegger in the original Terminator, which of course I've seen, but it's been quite a while since I have seen it. And uh, it's, you know, once again, one of the few, the, the sequel, Terminator 2, was one of the few sequels that was actually better than the original. And there's the... sticker on the top. They're usually... sometimes they're easy to peel off, like this one is, and sometimes they're not. And I never did see this in the theater. I just, you know, when it came out on VHS years ago, but I definitely uh, loved it. But like I said, I haven't seen it in years, so I don't know. And this, well, the special features are, are seven deleted scenes, creating the Terminator, visual effects and music, and Terminator, a, re well, a retrospective. So. I always love special features, so it just comes with the plain old Blu-ray. My third, uh, well, my second, yeah, my second Blu-ray and my third movie to show you is Raging Bull with Robert De Niro. And this one is coming off here the next week. Blu-ray and DVD. And I believe this has quite a few uh, special features. Two disc set. Uh, three commentaries, four new featurettes, and feature-length documentary, so a lot of stuff. I love special features. Now, for Raging Bull, I believe I might have rented or rented it, or I might have even bought it at some point on DVD, and I just never got into it. But I definitely want to, because I know it's 
a great movie. And uh, but I, I've just never watched it all. Sometimes I don't have patience, but this time I'm going to watch the whole movie. And lastly, I loved this movie when I saw it years and years ago on, on VHS. And I don't know, something about Tom Cruise, <laughs> you know, the last few years. Well, I, like, I think quite a few Tom Cruise fans from the past kind of turned off by him a bit. I don't think his movies are doing as well as they used to. But this is Rain Man, and I definitely remember this for the most part, most of it. And I know I'm going to love this, watching this again. Great acting by, uh, by both of them, Tom Cruise and Dustin Hoffman especially. And special features, yes. Auto, audio commentary, and I, I usually even watch those too. And there's uh, three different tracks. And then the Journey of Rain Man featurette. Lifting the Fog, a look at the mysteries of autism, deleted scene, and original theatrical trailer. And some people have asked me, at least on my Canadian Step Off and Channel, that I should get bifocals. These are bifocals, but for me to read it, I'd have to, uh, like that. So I just go like that, and then I can read them. So, yeah, Rain Man is excellent, from what I remember. And I got to take the sticker off. And this one came off. Some, I hate it when they shred. And this one did, it kind of broke in half here. It broke in thirds. Uh, an upcoming video I'm going to be doing on this channel is about dreams. And uh, I've been messaging this woman about dreams. And she has sort of a theory about dreams because I don't think... With, I'll wait. Just wait until I do the video. But anyway, I have my own theory, and I kind of agree with her theory about dreams. You could be dreaming right now while watching this video. So this is Rain Man. Just the Blu-ray. So that's it. This is uh, this is it. Thank you for watching, and I would really love your comments below on any of these four movies. Let me know what you think of them, and of course, please thumbs up the video. And there's a playlist that you should see here at the end of the video. Please, if you haven't seen some of the videos, check them out. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Oh, and follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the description below or here. And also add me as a friend on Facebook if you like. See you later. Bye.